It's that time once again as another My Hero Academia episode has come and gone. And this week we're finally getting to the start of the highly anticipated fight between Deku and Gentle Criminal. My reviews are going to work in a way where I talk about the new episode and its contents. I'll glance over what I think was cool, talk about my favorite characters and moment in the episode, and then if I feel like there's anything worth mentioning in regards to it, I'll also talk about my least favorite character and moment. With that out of the way, let's get right into things and watch on as Deku does everything in his power to stop Gentle Criminal from ruining the festival. The episode opens up the night before the school festival is to begin, with the students putting the final touches on the gym they'll be performing in. Mina is directing traffic with the dance team on one last run through, while the effects team watches on. Saro notes that he really did think, before they started, that their whole event would come off as being very amateurish. But thanks to the hard work of Jiro and Mina, the band and dance teams look better than just amateurs. Suddenly, the pro hero hound dog slams open the gym doors and screams at the kids to get out and go to the dorm since it's past 9pm. The students exit and head back to the dorms, knowing that they're just 12 hours away from the start of the festival. After a few hours, several students are still awake from the sheer excitement of the following day, conversing amongst themselves about just how things will go the next day. Ida hopes that everyone will get excited about their performance on the same level that Class 1B is, but Jiro tells them not to worry about stuff like that, since getting embarrassed or nervous over performances tends to be a pretty unfun thing to deal with. Deku comments that the things Jiro is saying can work for other stuff too, not just for calming down over the festival. Ayoama agrees, mentioning that when you think of others, it'll end up helping you too. Deku notices that the rope he is going to be using to pull Ayoama around during the performance is rather frayed and could end up breaking. Kaminari says that he could always ask Yarozu to make a new one, but Mina is quick to shut that down, saying that she is asleep and they shouldn't be using her as a tool anyway. Deku says that he'll go grab a new rope in the morning from a certain hardware store nearby after he finishes his morning practice, promising to be back before the festival begins. The next morning, Deku is working with All Might at 6.30 as usual. He is still trying to go from being consistently at 8% full cowling while switching the 20 in his fingers for a moment. Suddenly, Mei Hatsume leaps out from the woods and exclaims to Deku that she'd known he'd be there. She is incredibly dirty and looks super sleep deprived, but she of course comes bearing a gift. She hands Deku a new pair of gloves that he had asked her for recently, which have strange exhaust pipe like things on the knuckles. Deku excitedly puts them on and reminds her that she could have just waited until after the festival. But Hatsume lets him know she's going to be sleeping for about 36 hours straight as soon as the festival's over, so it's probably better he got them now. All Might asks to take a look at the gloves, and Deku hands one over. The item definitely impresses the former symbol of peace, who can't believe that it's so compact, and will offer Deku help with one for all. Hatsume hands over a manual for them and runs off, and All Might excitedly tells Deku to put the gloves to use so they both see what they're capable of. Later on in the morning at around 8.15am, Deku is just heading out of the hardware store with rope and running off so he can get back to school. At the same time, a duo is leaving the small coffee shop posted right next door to the hardware store. As if as destined by fate, Deku and the duo nearly run into one another, but stop just short of doing so. The clock strikes 8.30 and Deku apologizes for almost running into the two. The tall man reminds the young hero to be careful, saying that he nearly ruined the aftertaste of the gold tips imperial. Behind the sunglasses and facial mask of the man is a shell-shocked, gentle criminal who nearly saw his plan completely completely thrown out of whack. He knows he has to avoid all contact with others as much as he possibly can, and nearly colliding with Deku is no good. The duo starts walking away from Deku, but while they're still in earshot, they hear him ask himself if that place is actually a cafe or not, since he remembered gold tips Imperial as a tea. Suddenly, Gentle Criminal turns around in shock and begins to meander his way back to Deku, deducing that the only way he'd have thought that the place was a cafe if he knew what Gold Tips Imperial was. Gentle Criminal questions if Deku is someone who understands the greatness of tea and finds that to be wonderful, even though he is so young. Deku is obviously embarrassed and tries to downplay the situation, saying he actually knows very little about tea and only recently had some because a friend made it. He starts to think that the voice of this man sounds familiar, and in Gentle Criminal's mind, he realizes that if Deku has such a high class friend, then they must go to an elite school putting two and two together that deck is from UA. The awkward conversation continues between the two for a few more moments, and finally, Deku realizes that the man he is talking to is indeed Gentle Criminal. The two sides seem to fully understand what's going on, and that leads to Gentle Criminal attempting to excuse himself, though naturally Deku will not allow that. He asks if having tea is like a ritual for him, and Labrava immediately looks up at Gentle and hopes he isn't blaming himself right now for definitely getting caught. Deku puts his bags down and lets Gentle Criminal know that he saw his most recent video, and he will not allow him to set off the alarm at UA. Dental takes off his disguise and tells Labrava to start filming, letting her know that there is a change in plans, but whatever happens, she shouldn't stop filming. Deku puts two and two together, since it's a Saturday, hardly anyone is around, and there are no hero agencies all that close, so we can't expect any backup. 
Gentle Criminal begins to voice over for his video, telling his listeners that the grand adventure of a man of extraordinary talent is starting. He says that he is the gentleman thief that will save the world, and that while his plans have shifted, he will keep things brief. Deku will not allow him to get to Yue, and he leaps towards him to attack. However, it looks as though something has gotten in his way. As Deku collides with an invisible wall that resembles plastic wrap and keeps him from moving any further. It turns out, Gentle Criminal set this up, all thanks to the quirk, elasticity. He is able to make anything he touches elastic, even if it's in the air, which has created this wall that is currently trapping Deku. Gentle Criminal uses one of his moves, Gently Rebound, which ends up shooting Deku out backward down the street. The villain turns to the camera and admits he doesn't like solving things with violence. The Labrava adds that he is being so violent right now, it's almost disgusting. It can't be expected for Gentle to act as he normally does though, as he is in the midst of surprising confusion. He is absolutely taken away by Deku's speed and power, and the two villains run off, apologizing to Deku for having to fight back against him. Deku gets back up and tells them that if they're going to apologize, that they shouldn't attack Yue, and he gives chase quickly. Gentle says that it's something he just can't do, and he turns around and drops his hand on the ground, using yet another move called Gently Trampoline. Deku is bounced into the air, and again Gentle Criminal apologizes, stating that just like Deku, he has a lot put into his current plans today, and he can't be stopped, or else it'll get in the way of his becoming a legend. Gentle Criminal and Labrava begin bouncing away through the air. The Labrava suddenly remembers something. She had seen Deku before, and even knows his name, saying that he was the boy who fought in the U.S. Sports Festival and broke both of his arms, and that he is absolutely crazy. Gentle Criminal essentially calls Deku insane, and says that he'd better not get involved with him anymore. Gentle Criminal lets the recording know that the attempt to get in the UA is now a race against the clock, and he is definitely going to have his work cut out for him, as Deku shifts in midair to stare down the two bouncing away. Deku remembers that Eri is looking forward to the festival very much, and with that driving him, he takes aim at the Gentle Criminal with his fingers. We get to see these new gloves in action as Deku focuses on them and shoots out air pressure from the release on the knuckles, hitting Gentle Criminal in the back with a move he calls Delaware Smash Air Force. This doesn't stop Gentle Criminal, however, as he and Labrava continue to bounce away. Deku leaps off of an electrical pole and quickly slimes in the Gentle Criminal in midair, sending the two flying into a construction site. A random citizen on the ground notices the two hit the construction and seems to immediately deduce that there's trouble, but Labrava tells him not to worry and that they're just filming something here. She isn't sure if this will work to buy them time, and hopes that he'll just want to retreat. Deku comes to his stop on solid ground with the constructed building, and thanks Hatsume for making these gloves do exactly what he needed. We flash back to when he asked her for them originally, and she's explained to Deku that with the way she's going to make the gloves, that he will be able to fire the air as if they're shots one at a time. Deku looks around for Gentle Criminal, though the villain is hung up from his jacket on a steel girder. Deku questions how he's able to keep his composure while still trapped in a ridiculous position, but it's because Gentle believes he will definitely make his plan succeed. Deku wonders how this guy still has any resolve left, and deduces that he will not be giving up. Gentle Criminal again starts to introduce himself, though Deku cuts him off quickly and tells him that he is no gentleman. He demands that Gentle tell him what he is playing the duty UA and Gentle shakes off the question. He asks to not be lumped in with people like the League of Villains, as he isn't trying to kidnap or stab anyone. All he's trying to do is sneak into the school festival, and he asks Deku once more to just let him go. Deku angrily reminds Gentle Criminal that the school is on emergency alert, and that the alarm will sound even before Gentle could breach the festival itself. His plan would fail and he would have nowhere to run, so he should just give up. Gentle Criminal instead seems to be completely fine if that were to happen, since Labrava can turn off the alarm anyway. The festival can still go on and Gentle Criminal can succeed in breaching it without anything happening. He once more asks Deku to let him go before things become too troublesome. Deku lets him know he has already called the police and he'll keep Gentle here until heroes arrive. Gentle Criminal dislodges himself from the still girder using his quirk and decides that while the aftertaste of the tea remains, he'll have no choice but to put Deku to sleep. Gentle starts to use his quirk to bounce off of girders as if they're made of rubber and causes everything around Deku to become bouncy and move non-stop, throwing the young hero off his game and making it hard for him to aim his fingers in one direct spot. He lets off an attack, but Gentle Criminal manages to have it bounce off of several pre-made elastic walls that eventually send it right back at Deku, clipping him in the shoulder and knocking him off balance. Gentle Criminal is prepared to send the air back at Deku no matter what, basically rendering the young hero's newest attack useless at the moment. Labrava pleads of Gentle Criminal to retreat regardless, but the villain refuses, saying they haven't lost just yet. Gentle Criminal begins to pull the bolts out from the girders and lets Deku know that he can't control how long things remain elastic thanks to his quirk, and that they'll eventually return to their normal state gradually. The beam Gentle is on collapses under him, and Deku quickly leaps into action, grabbing it as it does so, but becoming stuck in place due to how heavy it is. Deku ends up being left in the construction, holding the girder while Gentle and Labrava leap from the site and fly towards the school. Gentle lets Labrava know that the plans have changed, and that the school is so on guard, and he still manages to sneak in, that he will become an even bigger legend.
While pushing one for all beyond 8% for just a moment, Deku manages to hold the beam up with just one hand and shoot air at Gentle Criminal, knocking him and Labrava off course. Labrava comments that it looks like neither of them will give up, so it's time for them to use her quirk. There are 69 minutes left until the performance of Class 1A, and it looks like the battle between Deku and Gentle Criminal is about to get even bigger. This episode was a great start to the final battle of the season, and we finally got to see what Gentle Criminal's quirk can do. It's really interesting, and definitely one of the most reality-warping quirks we've seen so far, pun fully intended, and I think it fits the personality of Gentle Criminal pretty well. I of course believe Deku is going to defeat him and help the school festival go on without a problem, but things will probably be kept pretty close. I have no idea just what Labrava's quirk will do, but judging by her design and overall demeanor when it comes to Gentle, I can only assume it'll be love-related. I look forward to seeing exactly what it does, and any possible extra backstory we get about these two villains in the next episode. Well, that's going to do it for my review of My Hero Academia Season 4, Episode 21, Deku vs. Gentle Criminal. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments below, and subscribe to Mystic Sage with notifications on so you don't miss my review of the fourth season's next great episode. I've got a lot of great videos about My Hero Academia already on the channel, and about plenty of other anime, as well as the more to come. I hope you guys have been enjoying these reviews and the show so far as well, and I'll be back at it again soon with another review of the next My Hero episode.